Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you going? That's uh, Shai here from Genesis Fitness at Parramatta. You might notice I'm looking resplendent in my uh, slightly different do I'm normally in. Uh, I've yeah, just finished teaching a class, so thought I might as well just do it in my uh, my regular gear and note the lovely cyclist uh, cyclist tan that I'm sporting that I cannot get rid of. I got it on New Year's Day, and um, yeah, I'm, I either need to stay out of the sun or uh, or try and cover something up to, to get rid of it. So just uh, please excuse the shocking tan line. So. Yeah, all right, let's get started. Um, hopefully we're all, uh, we're all staying on track in terms of our goals and, uh, and, and, and putting in the effort that we need to to, uh, to get in there. You know, we're in February now, and um, you know, I know the weather has been absolutely kind of out of season. It's, it's been unseasonably cold and rainy and whatnot, but it's not raining in the gym, so no excuse, just get your butts in here if you're not. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll get on to today's, uh, today's topic of conversation. Um, which is something that uh, I've seen really improve over the last probably three years or so, which is um, uh, which is weight training. And, and, and when I mean by weight training, I mean that weight training isn't just a, uh, a, a pastime for big, hairy, sweaty men, um, you know, with dumbbells. But you know, as the researchers came came about, and as the educational levels came about, that more and more people are. Are getting into into regular strength training, and um, more importantly, um, women uh, are, are strength training now. And um, in fact, it's more important as you get older for women to weight train than it is for men. And in fact, men tend to neglect the cardiovascular side of things. And um, obviously, heart disease is the biggest killer of men, and um, they tend to just want to lift weights. Whereas women steer clear of the weights because they're worried about getting bulky. When in fact you should be lifting weights for the m most important reason is it strengthens your bones. All right, and um, as we all know, as we get older, our, our bones start to deteriorate. So keep those bones strong. But is there any of you out there that um, have, that come to the gym and maybe you know go on the treadmill or do a class a couple of times a week or whatever? And are afraid of, of getting into the weights or not sure how to go about it. I'm just going to give you a few really basic uh, basic keys to, to get started on a weight training program. Now, um, the first one is that you know you got to make sure that you start off nice and slowly and easily. Okay, um, you know you only need to really be doing a weight training program when you begin. Twice a week is is all that's necessary, you, and you don't need a massive big program to, to achieve a benefit from resistance training when you first start you know you only need to do it twice for, for 30 to 45 minutes okay so the easiest way to, to start and what I've always found success with is a really basic machine based program okay don't worry so much about free weights unless you have a personal trainer okay if you have a trainer that's assisting you one-on-one -on -one, then definitely get into some, uh, some free weight stuff but if you are doing it on your own then you know, a really, you know, basic machine type of program, working the larger muscle groups. Don't worry about anything overly small, okay? You just want to work the larger muscle groups twice a week. And so a, a, a type of program that you'd want to do would be two or three sets of between, you know, 10 to 15 repetitions, okay? Um, with about a minute or so break in between. Even two sets is fine. And you want to work what we do what we call compound movements. And what compound movements are are movements across a variety of muscle groups, not isolating one particular muscle. So to, to give you an idea of, of the difference between a, uh, a compound exercise and a, an isolation exercise, a compound exercise is something like the leg press, okay, the one where you, where you push out, because you're working your, your, your muscles through a wide, wide range. You're working all different muscle groups in your lower body. Whereas a isolation exercise would be, say, a knee extension where you're only trying to focus on one particular area. And you, they're, they're a more advanced exercise, more dedicated to, say, bodybuilding, whereas what we're trying to do is just establish a really basic foundation to help you get started. So what I'd suggest is, if you're doing it, say, twice a week, and it's your, your, you know, your, your first time into a weight training program, start off with, say, a, a machine-based leg press for your lower, for your lower body, um, or, yeah, a machine-based yeah, machine leg press, you could do lunges if you like, but you find that technique issues tend to get in the way of those. So just a machine-based leg press, 
followed by a machine based chest press. Now if you're not sure of any of these, ask your trainer, ask us in the club, have a look at the signs, most machines have got them all on there. So machine leg press, and I'm going to give these to you in order as well, because what you want to do is work the biggest muscle groups through to the smallest. Okay, so leg press, then chest press, okay, this one. Then an exercise, say, like a, a lat pull down possibly, or a, uh, or a row, okay, that, that's, uh, that's fixed. Um, and, you know, you could do, you know, they're the three main exercises that you really need to include. Leg press, chest press, row. Okay, you only really need to do those three exercises. Unbelievably, those three exercises will see benefit to you across most of your muscle groups. You only need to do those three times a week. Now, you can add to that as you, as you go, but really, those three exercises will be enough in the first eight weeks to get you to, to see an improvement. Then you can start to take it to the next level. But as I said, this is really, really basic. Um, you know, so just start off with really basic compound movements. Um, and, and you can't really go wrong. Another great way of commencing a weight training program, uh, if you're a little bit afraid, is say something like a body pump class. Now, um, body pump obviously works with much higher repetition. Um, however, the good part about body pump is all the exercises are in the main, what we call functional or compound. We're working across the larger muscle groups and we're working in a team environment as well. So you can get a fair bit of the, uh, of the bone density and, and strength benefits uh, that a weight training program that can give you, but in a group environment with a motivating instructor. So, you know, there are a few different ways you can commence getting started on a weight training program, but the most important thing is that you do commence one. Um, you know, it's good for you, it changes your body shape, and it's not as big an investment as you think. Don't think that you need to be slogging it out in the gym for an hour and a half each day to get stronger. You don't. I mean, the people that are doing that are doing that for a specific purpose, and they've probably been training for maybe two to five years to have already established that, so they already build up to that. You can get just as much benefit keeping it really basic for the first eight to 12 weeks just by keeping it really simple. Then you can start to progress and start to incorporate you know, more advanced movements like squatting and lunging and deadlifting and bench press and dumbbells. But to start off with, keep it really basic and you'll see results in a short space of time, which is, I think that's, that's what we want. And in combination with some cardiovascular exercise, um, say an RPM class or an indo row on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday nights at 6 p.m., hint, hint, um, then, you'll, then, you'll, um, then you'll get benefit and, and, and see results. So yeah, look, if you've got any questions, as I said, I've kept it really simple. If you've got any questions or anything, you know, pop it down below or, um, or send us a, a message on Facebook. Um, apart from that, have a, uh, an enjoyable day and, uh, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.